Hi there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a picture slideshow in Google Slides. So I just went ahead and started a new slideshow and titled it. Next, I'm going to change the theme. So I'll click on theme. If you don't happen to see that theme button, it could be that you are here, typed on um, where it has a text box. So just click away and you'll see theme. One of my favorite themes is this little basic one here. So now, I've got just a little more color and style. Um, you can go ahead and change the font, add your own background, but I'm gonna stick with this theme. Next, I'm gonna add some blank slides so I can insert some pictures. So I'm gonna come over here to this plus sign and right next to the plus sign is a drop down arrow. I'm gonna choose blank. And now every time I hit the plus sign, I can add a new blank slide. So let's add a picture to this first one. I'm gonna show you two ways to add a picture. One is upload from your computer. So again, let me show you. Insert, image, upload from your computer. And then I can search through my pictures. Um, I have created a file folder called Classroom Photos, and I'm just going to double click, and that's gonna place the photo right on my slide. I'm gonna adjust it. So it's in the center. And then I'm gonna move on to the next slide. This time I'll show you how to use your Google Drive. So insert image from your drive. Now if it's something you've recently uploaded, it would be in your recents. And if you're not sure how to upload them onto your Google Drive or onto your laptop, um, we do have some videos for that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for my classroom pictures. And I went ahead and just created a folder that has all of them in there. And I'm just gonna drag them onto my slide, make them the size I want, and put them in the center. Now it's up to you whether you want just one picture per slide or if you want to add a few pictures. I'm gonna go ahead and add three to this one. Now I can spend some time rearranging this how I would like to rearrange it, or I can use a handy little tool called the Explore tool. Now I just went ahead and took my three photos, dragged them on here. Um, I didn't have any text, this was a blank slide. And I'm gonna go to Tools, Explore. And what it's gonna do is gonna give me three options for what this could look like on a slide or at least three options. So between these, looks like I've got quite a few. Between these options, I'm gonna go with this one. And notice it's automatically created, um, kind of a collage. All right, so now that I have my photos, we're gonna go ahead and insert some music. Now, in order to do that, you need music on Google Drive. So you can go to something like Ben's sound and find one that's for free. And that's just bensound.com. Look for free music. And just go ahead and take a peek. On there. So let's say this is the one I want to use. I'm gonna click free download. And I'm gonna download that. It also has some attribution text. I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna make sure that I put that in my slide deck. So I'm gonna go back to my open house slide, and in my title slide, I'll just paste that there. Okay, so now I've got my music. Oops. I'm actually gonna put that into Drive by just dragging that in there. So go to my downloads, and drag that there. And so what that's going to do is just upload and give me a link that I can use when uploading it onto my slideshow. So I'll go back to my slideshow and on the very first slide, I'm gonna to go to insert audio this time. And I'm gonna either search my drive or I'm gonna to come to that folder that I have that has 
audio in it. And that's my classroom pictures folder. I just wanted to put it all in one spot. And I'll double click. And now you'll see that the audio is here and the format options will also show up. So you can have it start playing automatically or on click. I like to set it up to automatically. I also like to hide the icon, loop the audio, and then I don't want it to stop on the slide change. I want it to continue and just go throughout the whole slide deck. So I'm going to uncheck this one. And then I can exit out of it. So next, all I need to do is publish this. And so publishing it will give me a link that I can use and I can put that on my Promethean board or if I have my laptop hooked up to the board, I can do that. I'm going to go to file and share publish to the web. This is going to give me a link that I could use so um, I can change how often it advances. So every second, every two seconds, I'm going to leave it at every three. I do not want to start the slideshow as soon as the player loads. I'm going to leave this unchecked and I'll show you why in just a moment. Um, and then next it says restart the slideshow after the last slide. So if I don't have too many pictures, I might want to go ahead and check that one. Okay, so now that's going to be published. It might ask you for permission. I've, I've messed with this one a few times, so just go ahead and say yes if it does. I'm going to copy this URL, and so I'll press Control-C to copy it. Next, I'll go ahead and paste the link into the address bar. So I can right-click and click Paste, and then Enter, or I can do a Control-V. Now notice my presentation is here, but I have this little exclamation point. It's not ready to play just yet, and I told it not to, and that's because I want to enable the sound. So I'm going to click Enable Autoplay. Once I do that, I'm going to come over here to those three dots, and on Autoplay, I'll click Play. And so that way, as soon as it plays, it'll play the sound, and then it'll advance to the next slide. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so then you've got your presentation ready and it's open house night. You'll go to your board, you'll open up the presentation, and then you'll just go back to file, share, publish to the web. You'll find your link here. You'll copy that, again, paste it into the URL or address bar. And if you Okay, I hope you found that tutorial helpful and that you are ready to create your own picture slideshow presentation using slides.